Hey and welcome to a new tutorial video. Today we are making this plant in a pot. So let's get started. I'm going to open up a new blender file. And let's press A to select all and X to delete. And let's go ahead and add a plane. Now press 7 on your numpad for top view. And let's go ahead and scale this. So S and Y and scale this up a bit. And S and X and scale this down. Let's go into edit mode with tab and let's add three loop cuts in the middle. You can use your mouse wheel to add to the selection. And do one here. Now select these three vertices and by holding shift select these three as well. And now we can scale these on the X. So S and X and scale these down. Okay, let's go back to object mode with tab and press ctrl 2 for subdivision modifier. Now let's go to the uh, modifiers properties and make this 4 on both. Okay, let's rotate our view a bit and go into edit mode with tab. Now press A to select all and E to extrude this up a bit. Something like this. Press 2 for edge select. And by holding shift select these three. Now let's add a bevel. So control and B. And again use your mouse wheel to add to the selection. And let's select the middle ones by holding shift. And let's bring this down with G and Z. Okay, let's press 1 for vertex select and double G and move this on the Y like this. Let's step out and let's shade this smooth. So click your right mouse, shade smooth. Let's go and find our normals and select auto smooth. Okay, this is looking nice. Let's go back into edit mode and press 7 for top view. Let's select all with A and bring this up on the Y. So G and Y and move this up. I want this origin point to be on the bottom, so it will be easier to rotate this way. Okay, let's step out again to object mode, press 3 for side view, and I'm going to use this transform thingy and rotate this on the X. You can also just use R and X, but I find this um, much more easier to do. Okay, now I want to go ahead and add this some more because I want the origin point to be in front. So let's go into edit mode again and G and Y and move this back and move this down just a tiny bit. Okay, let's press 7 again for top view and now we can duplicate this and I want to rotate this on our 3D cursor so let's go to this uh, transform pivot point and select 3D cursor. Okay, now let's shift D and R 120. And if we shift R now, then it will uh, duplicate our latest move. 
okay and from this point we can add more so let's go to top view again let's duplicate this shift p three for side view and rotate this back to top view and now you can rotate this and you can scale this shift d r scale shift d rotate and scale and you can do anything you like here so you can go big or you can go small you can follow me that's up to you okay let's duplicate this one again shift d three for side view rotate seven for top view again r So basically you can do anything you like here you can make a big plant you can make a small plant um, anything you like for this video i'm going to keep it just like this and what we can do now is box select everything and control j and this way we have joined them all together so if we move it now it's one piece okay let's go to a front view so press one on your numpad and let's bring this up a bit so we can now focus on our pot so let's go ahead and add a circle and let's go into edit mode with tab and let's fill this up oh and let's not forget to change our pivot point back to a medium point so let's go ahead and do that Let's extrude this on the Z, so E and Z. And I want to scale this up, so press S and make it larger. Let's make an inset with I and extrude this down. Let's make another inset and let's add some loop cuts, so Control R. And use your mouse wheel to add to the selection like this. Let's go back to object mode. So tab and control 2 for subdivision modifier. Let's go to the modifier tab and make these four on both. And let's, let's go ahead and shade this smooth. So click your right mouse. And let's go to... Our normals again and click auto smooth okay let's go back into edit mode and let's add some loop cuts so control R and bring this down press 3 for face select select this face and make a inset control R and add some loop cuts like this and do the same here so control r like this okay now we can bring our plan down and see if it will fit and it does perfectly okay let's go ahead and add our background so let's add a plane and scale this up let's go ahead and add a camera let's 
let's make this 21 on the location and 75 on the X rotation. Let's bring this down with G and Z. And let's go to the output properties and make the resolution a thousand by a thousand. And we can go to the camera options here and scale the camera down. Adjust the view a bit, so G and Z. And scale the background up, so S, like this. Let's save our file. And now we can go ahead and give this some color. So go to the viewport shading. Select the background. Give it a black color. Select the pot. Go to hex and if you want to follow along with my colors, then the pot will be 4F7B81 and the plant will be A, 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 B, 6, 8. Okay. Now we can go ahead and add some lights. So let's go to add, lights, and select the sun. Move this up, G and Z. And for this, I want to change it back to the 3D cursor. So we can rotate around that. Let's go and type in our color. That will be F3BC85. And the strength will be 1.5. And the angle will be 55. Let's rotate this. So RZ45. Excuse me. RX45. And then RZ90 minus. Let's bring this up a bit. So GZZ. Okay. And let's add some area lights. Let's move this up with G and Z. And let's keep this white, but the strength will be a thousand. And the shape will be a disc. And the size will be four. RX45, RZ45. Now let's duplicate this light. So Shift D and RZ180. Now we can change the color for this backlight. So go to hex. And let's make that the same color as the sunlight. So that number was F3BC85. And let's make that a power of 400. Okay, now we can go ahead and add a world color. So go to the world properties, select color, and that number is 653F86. Let's go to the render properties and click ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflection. Then scroll down to color management. And for the look, I want to go with high contrast. Okay. And now we can go to the render engine and select cycles. Click the noise and go to the last viewport shading tab. So this is our end result. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video and if you want to see more, uh, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.